Come on then, hop along. Oh my god. Jesus Christ! Oh, oh yeah, it made a load of difference up there. That's a money shot. Sean's hurt his back, everyone. Oh, it broke my back. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another video of mine or welcome to my channel if you are new here. If you are a regular subscriber then you'll be familiar with myself and my little guest today which is my boyfriend Sean and if you're new here, lovely to meet you. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video and I hope you stick around and hit the subscribe button and join our growing YouTube family. I recently did a poll on YouTube and everybody seems to want to have another house related video. Now kind of accidentally we did our first house kind of content video about six months ago. I didn't even realise that we've accidentally done like a house series on our channel but it's been really well received from you guys we really love sitting down and talking about our experience we get so many people actually reach out to the two of us why are you laughing no no we love yeah we love sitting don't be so days. miserable so in today's video we just thought we would touch base on the regrets and the kind of downsides to buying a new build that we've personally experienced and compile a little list for you guys that will hopefully shed some light on a few little questions that you may have so the first point that we think is a real big downside to buying a new build is the upgrades that you do have to buy when you move in you think i'm buying a new build great it's a new build it's built but you get there and you know there's no carpets there's no you know yeah. extra little plugs things flooring like, like nicer radiators yeah yeah I mean, it's they're mad, all like isn't it? you just think cost. oh all right so the house is x but and then, then I need about five more grand. To put. And they really are expensive, yeah. aren't they? I think when you move in, you you expect when they're doing like the showing, aren't they? When they give like give you the tour, you like you see the towel radiators and you see the marble worktop and the beautiful tiles and the lovely flooring and you expect them to all come in when you first get your keys and you walk in. It costs so much more money. You're like, so you haggle with the price, so fine, you finally agree on it, Liv. Let's do this. Okay, cool. Right. Oh, there's no carpets here. Oh, that's an extra three and a half grand. What? Why? Yeah. And three and a half is a lot of money, so we shopped around, didn't we? And we got it for like half the price, but... Yeah, so there was no carpets included, and I think they wanted two and a half, or maybe three and a half, to carpet the whole house upstairs and the stairs and then we were like oh, okay and obviously this is our first time buying a house so we didn't really know how much carpets cost we were like oh, okay well we'll have a look around and just went to like the generic stores like carpet right and got ourselves our own quote and i'm so glad we did because it was like a quarter of the price so it's just additional cost that's a big downside i think it will kind of sting you um, and again like sean said you save for the house you save for the deposit but you then need then some to actually get the things you need. So just bear that in mind. If you know local builders, you can probably kind of bring that cost down massively for yourself. So the second point we think is to try and pick your lot early because if you don't, you don't get the benefit of picking the less overlooked house, the better garden. And often you find with new builds that, especially in our case anyway, our personal experience was the more the development went on, the more the house prices were, they would go up slightly. So if you're able to pick that earlier, you will probably save yourself a little bit more money. Yeah, it's definitely a downside of a new build. You have to get in there really early because the showroom is always perfect. So if yeah. you, you know, the showroom might have a nice south facing garden, you know, it's probably got the best stuff put in it. But if you don't get there early, you might get, you know, you really like the house, you fall in love with the area, yeah. the whatever, but you end up with a lot that you don't, you know, it isn't quite what you looked at. And another downside of a new build is you have to be involved during the build process, don't you? Because a lot gets lost along the way. So we really wish we were there a bit earlier, weren't we, to take like photos yeah. because I mean, the wall, for example. It's just good to see that like, the plumbing, isn't it? And like the wiring, because if you do have any tweaks that you want to make later down the line, you obviously don't necessarily know what's behind that wall. And we didn't really take a lot of photos, did no, we really? We like, And we didn't really take much notice yeah. of what they said. But we came, like a couple of weeks ago, we wanted to put a TV on the wall. Yeah. But we couldn't because we didn't get that wall reinforced. Which... Yeah, because with new builds, they're like, I don't plasterboard. They're like yeah. crappy walls, basically. So we, the TV we wanted, we wanted it mounted on the wall and for it to be safe. We needed to get it something put inside of it is that right yeah it's like an extra wooden a frame yeah like a timber frame to support the tv so the tv could be attached to that but obviously for us the builder was asking us okay well do you know what's behind here and we were like no so it's definitely something to consider i think you can definitely save yourself a little bit of ag and you can just help your builder so it just might save you a bit of time okay so another point that we think is a big downside to a new build is there will be defects in the build it is a new build the property will move you will get cracks in the walls you will find that they've maybe done a quick shot 
study job depending on the company that you've gone with. And that is probably why I think new builds get a bad rep. Put it, they put up so cheap, don't they? Yeah. I mean, it's all about margins. Our garden is the best example for it. They, they've had to redo every garden on the entire block. Yeah. Because they just didn't put the proper soil in it. When you when you dig deep, it's just stones and it's just crap. It's just cutting corners. They do do that because I guess the yeah. margins are so tight. Yeah. They've got to cut corners wherever they can just to. You might hear a digger in a minute because the digger's in the garden. So sorting out that. Apologies for that. Sorting out our garden. Yeah. When we spoke about the snagging list, yeah, we actually had loads. Yeah. You know, if you think about from We're the, the minute we it. moved in <laughs> to now. I think every single room has had something that the builders have had to come and sort out or yeah. refix, which is mad really. And obviously when you do buy an older house uh, rather than like a new build, you'll be able to kind of put your own stamp on it. You don't necessarily get the character mm. in a new build. You don't have like the old period features. Yeah, you can't put a fireplace in, can you? We no. really wanted a fireplace, but that's just non-existent. Yeah. Again, with the character, every single house on this block looks exactly the same. Yeah. That's not for everyone, is it? And it's just something you can't do. Okay, so another thing we think is absolutely crucial is to live in your space for a little bit. We didn't do this. We rushed and we bought items that we didn't necessarily need. And we've actually ended up selling some stuff on Facebook Marketplace and things. So yeah, just live in your space for a bit. Don't rush, take your time, figure out what it is you need. Put fake furniture in, not yeah. Faith, had, but no, like it must it must have been designed specifically for the room because there was a bed and then there was a chest of drawers at the end of it and that is not physically possible but it wasn't a chest of drawers it was actually like a side table but with drawers underneath it to make it look like it was a chest of drawers so you were like oh i can get like a, a king size bed and a chest of drawers at the bottom we've tried a chest of drawers and we went for the thinnest one and even then there was still very limited room at the end of the no, bed. So yeah. yeah, just watch out for that stuff. Really go around with a tape measure and kind of measure up your spaces and stuff. Even when you look around the show home, like take a tape yeah. measure with you because- Double check it... the bed, pick the furniture that we wanted before we moved in. And yeah. I think that was a, was a mistake because some then when it came, yeah. sometimes we were, at the beginning we were like, oh, I'm not what so sure that? actually. Yeah. And we've got rid of some of it already, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, another annoying point about a new build is there's a high chance that you're going to be living on a building site for a while, especially if you get in there early. Like yeah. I said earlier, the benefit of getting in there early is great, but it means you're living on a building site. We're a same detached house, that's the next door we're, we're built, but yeah. apart from that, the entire street wasn't. So, you know, since we moved in, what? 10 houses have sprung up, and you can imagine what that was like diggers, yeah. removal men. And I don't know what the timing, like what. Probably not removable then. It was so annoying on a weekend when you want a little bit of a lion and you hear doo, doo, doo. It's a downside of it. It is a building site. The builders will probably leave loads of crap on the floor which will then blow on your garden which we definitely experience. If you're moving in quite early on in the development build, find out when their proposed finish date is because it probably will be longer than a year. Um, in some cases, they've still not even sold all of the houses on our development and will be in this house two years in September. And although there's not builders and stuff, there's still trucks every now and yeah, then going up the on. end. So um, yeah, just bear that in mind. It might be a bit noisy, especially if you've got a new baby. So our next kind of downside or regret, I would say, is although we got ourselves a deal on the house property market price, we do know that other neighbours got it way cheaper than what we did. So there is always a deal to be done on new builds, I would say. Um, yeah, I wish we put it down more yeah so you can get a deal we did get a deal um, and i did barter them down don't feel too cheeky always go in lower to the point where it's quite uncomfortable even putting forward that figure and like i said our downside is probably not pushing for that mm. a little bit more would yeah, you agree that's a, that's a regret yeah yeah I'm pushing it down so another point which really annoyed us and thinks the downside to moving into a new build is the overlap of maintenance charges and who's responsible for it. So, so we're getting, you know, they wanted to charge us £360 for the year, but there was an overlap where the builders were responsible for it, but obviously, you know, they're not going to go around and tidy up and no. do this and that and do what they need and sort no. out all the stuff they say yeah. they're going to sort out. So in the end, you end up paying a maintenance charge and nothing goes on. The grass at the back, you know, grew massively. Yeah. To be fair, it still does. And then the maintenance company comes in and asks you for 360 quid. And I think, do they ch change the prices each year? Could, does that have the possibility to go up a slight percentage yeah, as do. well? Yeah. So it, you wouldn't necessarily have this with a, an older house, um, which is a great thing because who wants an extra cost per year yeah. that's added onto your bills? And also, almost the guarantee that it's going to go up every single time because there's maintenance charges. Yeah, and they want to build a playground, so all of a sudden, you know, they put a little more money on the maintenance charge. Yeah, but we're two years down the line and there's still no playground that apparently was meant to be built. So, 
you can, I mean, argue stuff if things aren't being done and your maintenance isn't being done, you could probably argue that amount and question, well, why am I actually paying that at the moment? Because I can't see any of the things that you promised. Mm. But just bear that in mind, that is an additional cost. It comes with every single new build development now, yeah, I think. it does come, you know, new houses may have maintenance charge for the grounds and stuff, but that it, it's so far down the line, it's set in stone. So, you know, people will know what's happening, where the money's going. When we're in a new build, I think they just pluck the figure out of thin air and just try yeah. and somehow justify it. So yeah, it's just another fee to bear in mind, another downside to buying a new build. Well guys, that's it for today. We hope you've enjoyed our little downside and negatives and kind of regrets that we have about buying a new build. We hope it's been of some use to you. And if you guys would like to see our kind of pros list to buying a new build, then do let us know in the comments below. I could drag this old man I'm back for another video. I'm not a man. You are. You're getting there. You're 31 now. But for now, we'll see you in the next video very, very soon. Bye.